blue moon. And uh, today it's just Gav and I on the boat and we've snuck out. We're about four miles off the coast of uh, Harwich, a place called Stone Banks. And we're just gonna have a little try. We've only got some squid and some herring. It's not the kind, calmest of days. It is a little bit choppy and we're at slack water at the moment. But gorgeous day to be out. And just as we're sort of starting up, we've got Gorgeous day for September. For September, it's a gorgeous day, yeah. But got a lovely paddle steamer going past us there. That's been in Harwich for the last couple of days. Oh, wicked. You can hear the paddles smashing the water there. That's a cool old thing. First fish of the day, tiny little doggy. Oh, no. Little pup. A year or so old, probably not even that. <laughs> Bit of fish? Feels it. Oh, nice. Oh, it's Put a fish on, but carrying two legs. The only problem is we are at slack water at the minute, which is, and the wind is just swinging us around. We need some run. There's a little tap on there, isn't there? There it is. Wind her down. There's a fish. Probably an El Dodo. Not what we're after. No, but what a day to be out on the water. It it's is. Sunny. It's very uh, windy and sweet. It is glorious. And when you've got skies like that, you can't really complain too much. And we see a paddle. Steamy boat. Spotty mother trucker. Swallow. Another little spotty dog. Uh. Well, we've come back in from being at Stone Banks just offshore. And to our little honey hole in the in the light light by the light ships. Harwich. It's been about five minutes. We are into something. Looks a bit skatey to me, mate. It does, doesn't it? Which is... Which is what we came for. Oh, well, yeah. We want to, want to come out and use up some squid, use some of the old bait. And it is a little skate. A little tiddler coming oh, in it's back. a liftable one, isn't it? It's just coming in backwards. Yeah, that's why it felt heavier. But... A little baby. A little baby. It's flying. <laughs> Target achieved. Look at that little baby. Objective achieved. There you go, mate. Lovely little fiddler. Still have your finger off, wouldn't it? Uh, definitely would. Crack a little fish. Its eyes are so cool. Objective achieved. They just had another little tap on the old rod, and I think he's into another fish. What you got there, Ed? My favourites. Have you? Yes! One of the finest species on our coast. <laughs> the humble dogfish. So underrated. So <laughs> underrated. And so well loved. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. It's a little white. Hey, little whiten. <laughs> you know what that would do, wouldn't you? That would be live bait, mate, that would be. Wow, be? Whiting our back. Whiting our back with a vengeance. That I don't mind though. I don't mind one. Dogfish. Be better than a blank, isn't it? I hate dogfish, but whiting on on there. Big or small, we catch them all. Whiting tap for Gav. Hell, can't. Just that little tiny flick at the end of the rod, isn't it? Yeah. And it is a very tiny that little pin. That is a tiny little pin. It's a little bait Get ready then. Well, we're still just sat here by Harwich. We've got a couple of little whiting out for our live baits. Yeah, Just to give that a little go. I don't think we're going to be here too much longer. 
whilst it's lovely to be out on the boat. It's uh, yeah, just a couple of hours. Let's see if we can get a few fish, which we have. A little ray and uh, plenty of whites and plenty of little dogs. So it's a bit of fun really on, a, on an otherwise quiet Sunday. We've got this left hand rod out here. It's got a little tiny whiting on there with a live bait. And we think we both need to just leapt out of our seats. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The, a little bend down. Bang. Yeah. And what the bass will do to that, the little whiting will be swimming along. It will come up and it will stun it and then come back for it. So the possibility that was the first hit. But let's not get too excited about this. No, it was a bit of a weird one, wasn't it? So we have both been saying that what we probably should have done is not that we planned this trip at all <laughs> at all we should have uh, come in got a few whiting stuck them in a live well and then uh, anchored up next to a structure uh shotly pier or something and uh, just just going to put them down there to see if any of those big sort of late bass are still still around but again that's part of planning and uh didn't really have much of a plan other than load up the gear, load up the safety gear, load up the load up the fishing stuff and get on and go for it. I don't think there's gonna be anything happening with that, is there? No. Definitely a quick arc down there, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was a definite last minute thing, I was gonna do a tile on the bathroom. <laughs> Just bring the lines in. Gav's got something on there. I had a knock uh and uh Weed and a whiting. Weed and a whiting. Time to go then. That's on heron as well. Yeah, that's... Your uh, heron you got from last year. That's it. So it's coming up to the sort of time when we're going, getting, the no, uh, getting the nets out. So in the next uh, probably six weeks, I reckon we'll, we'll start to give the herring nets a go. Get the bait for the get the bait for next year. But lots of whiting. Weed starting. So we've had a good couple of hours. And then... Uh, Gonna head back in, get the boat on the trailer, and we'll be out again soon. And there is one of our beautiful herring from last year. We're gonna be going over to feed a gull, I guess. Oh, well, I don't think it's gonna swim off. 